Good morning. I hope you're all well. I'd like to say I'm fine, but I'll tell you later anyway. So this video is actually two days later than normal. I normally record and upload on Tuesday. Unfortunately, that's not been able to happen. Uh, but a situation in our back garden. Um, I don't know if many of you are aware, but Somerset has been plagued by a lot of rain. And if you look on the news, it's really bad at Somerset levels. Um, it's like a, a reservoir. Now, it's not like that here. However, the ground is very, very, very wet. Um, and what happened with the, the just the excess water in the soil is that it, so we have like um, a sewage treatment plant in our back garden. Um, and we also have soakaway underneath the lawn. <clears throat> and the water table is so high that the soakaway is coming back over into the tank. And it's, it damaged it. So we had like this error flashing up. So an engineer was going to come out on Tuesday. And my husband contacted me again and said, it's actually flooded. So... Um, <clears throat> the engineer didn't come till yesterday instead, after the tank had been emptied on Tuesday. That tank should not have been emptied, it should have been partially emptied. I don't know if anybody knew that, the science of it, because we certainly didn't. But basically, um, as there was a lot of water around the tank, if you, here's a, a good demonstration, this is an empty bottle. If you were to try and plunge that empty bottle, <clears throat> into a bath bath water it just plops straight back up again so what happened when the tank was emptied was that it shifted and because of all the sodden earth around it that was um it it easily just collapsed and so the tank sort of like lifted up shifted and then wedged underneath like a concrete column which is like it's all the way around in a square and it's stuck and not only is it stuck it became detached from the outlet pipe for our house so on our waste cannot go in the tank as it should. So that's not really too bad with regard to showers and baths and um, washing, you know, washing up or uh, laundry because that'll just go to the ground. It's just sooty water, it's not that bad. Um, it'll just go to the ground like all the rainwater is. Um, we just have to be more frugal about and careful about what goes down the drain, that kind of thing. But toilet water, solids, they can't go down there at all. Otherwise, it's just going to end up in out on the perimeter of the tank for somebody to dig up when the tank is reinstalled, which is going to be happening hopefully very soon. We've had people out on every day since Tuesday looking at it, and there's somebody come today. That's why I didn't do any recording on Tuesday, because I didn't like to be interrupted. Um, and I risked being interrupted again today, but I just thought, I need to get this video sorted out. Anyway, um, so really, the major issue at the moment is toileting. So, we've hired one of these. It's not ideal, but it's a toilet, and it just reminds me, apparently, my parents grew up. I don't know if it was my dad, actually definitely my mum had an outside toilet so it's nothing new for them uh, but definitely new for us but these things you see them at public events and stuff and normally I turn my nose up at them because so many people have used it before me and they get a bit messy and years gone by that that chemical that was in there used to have like a horrible smell but this one is it's scented it's beautiful and um, yeah the unit looks a bit tatty but it's not I thought, I thought, why did I think we were going to get a brand new one? Duh. <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter, it's a toilet and we can uh, use it. And CJ's and nappies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So he's okay. And that's what we have to live with for until the tank is fixed and reinstalled. And <laughs> Oh boy, let's hope we don't have any more rain. We don't need this much rain. Go somewhere else where it is needed. Anyway, that aside, I have been working on projects. I finally finished this one on the, the 24 peg loom. 
yeah, I think it is. It was that I think I showed you it before the start of it. That miss missed mismatched rib, something like that. Anyway, the ends need sewn in this because it wasn't complete balls at the beginning. And yeah, it's okay. And I can't believe the pres prescription. Um the pattern was eleven stitches wide. I did fifteen because I didn't think eleven looked wide and I still think that looks narrow. Never mind. But yeah, I need to sew the ends in. I'm just terrible at finishing things off. I just think, yeah, I'm done with that now and I'm I'm not really not quite finished. Because like on that yoga mat bag, I still need to do the strap to completely finish it. But it's there, if you look behind me, you can see a yellow yarn ball of wool on a really small one on that sewing machine no not sewing machine sewing box behind me and right next to it is an orange you know those file file things what you put magazine rack yeah and I don't know if you know you can't see it there the knitting mill is just like on top of that big box you know the little knitting mill the winder thing yeah it's there <laughs> and I keep doing a bit and then putting it down and doing something else but I have been busy on the Addies. I was attracted to this really beautiful colour yarn by Robin. It's called Candy Floss. That one's called Candy Floss. Super chunky. Um, there it is. It's 200 grams. And it, it comes with a free pattern, but I, I said, no, I don't want the pattern. I want to make a hat and a scarf. I knew what, exactly what I wanted to do with it. Um, so I did manage to do the hat on the big Addy. Yes, I did a drawstring top. Oh, I just couldn't be bothered making a tom a tom tom? Pom pom. Jeez, sure wake up. <laughs> right, I couldn't be bothered making a pom pom. No, it's not that. I couldn't be bothered decreasing. I'd got so far I just wanted it finished. That that was all it was. Because um oh yeah, no, I did a crochet edge. So and it actually fits in adults, that's good. Um I was gonna say, yeah, the Addy struggled with it. I won't be using that yarn in the Addy ever again, especially after I tried to make a scarf in the small Addy just minutes after, no, not minutes, within half an hour of opening it and setting it up and um, a needle broke. <laughs> there it is. Luckily, it came with spares, but I had spares from the big Addy as well and they are interchangeable, so that's all right. And also, luckily, I'd seen that YouTube video how to replace needles on the Addy, so that was good. So it was, it was a doddle. No problem at all. But I must admit, I did think I was going to get away with it, especially after um, the Big Addy produced the hat, even though it struggled. I thought it was going to be all right for a scarf, but no, it wasn't to be. Uh, but before I actually did the scarf, I did it just a practice tube. This is double knit. And it's come out really nice, and I was really surprised. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably frog it, but I just had to practice, as we all do, don't we? Um, oh, yeah, and I practiced doing a flat panel on the big one. I just used some yarn that was left over from the, um, it was buff, you know, red heart buff. That's it. How wide is that? There, that's how wide it is. So the edges curl, because that's all the yarn that there was there. But it was just nice to practice it and see how big it was, really. It's, I think it was 14 inches, nearly 15. So it was just nice to see that. And also see the difference between, like, the double knit and the worsted. See that when I see that, I think, oh, the double knit's not too bad. But when you do it for a hat, it like stretches and it looks a bit holy and not quite right. Uh, so I do feel you need to like double strand it somehow. I, I either double strand it or like double layer it. You know, like the tube and then one inside the other. So it's like a reversible. Which is what I try to do with the hat Vera's wearing. There you go. And it looks all right. These are the Stylecraft yarns. Um, that they were the, that oh, that's that's Spring Mall possibly. It's listed in one of my other videos, and as is that, I think that might be Meadow. And I had this wonderful idea of doing the reversible hat thing, but I'm not really happy with how it turned out because. I double stranded the yarn, I shouldn't have double stranded it. But I, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna have it too thin, like double double knit with just a single layer of yarn. 
doesn't look right. Double stranding is better. So, and I had, because I wanted to revert like this different rim. Mm. Yeah, so I thought I'd do the tube and I'd do the reversible and I shouldn't have double stranded it then. So I think what I should have done in the end was maybe like do a section of this. I'm not used to where I am in this, orientating myself in. So a section of that, a clump of the green, and then another section of that, like double that, say. And then another section of that, and then did it that way as a tube. Single layer, like single strand. That would... I think that might have been better because at the moment that hat is too thick to wear in this country <laughs> even. You need it for colder climates and for a child because it's that tight. I mean you could wear that on a building site and be safe. I think HSC will be absolutely delighted with that. <laughs> yes that'll be the new hard hat. Yeah, But I also don't like the way it stretches on the rib. Well, it's not really a rib, is it? it it's, I suppose it gives a rib effect, doesn't it? But it stretches like that. Don't like it, though. So, while I like the look of that hat, I could have done it differently and I could have done it better. But the scarf I was really delighted with. Because I followed some tips um, of Margaret Belanda's um, videos. So, here's the scarf. It's basically 30, was it for 30 of each colour. And on the ends, so I ended with the green, so I did the tassels like that. Is it tassels or is it a fringe? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm doing what Margaret did. <laughs> she got mixed up as well. And I don't know the difference. But the, the fringe and tassels, they're the same, aren't they? Oh. Anyway, this one. Where am I? There I am. Ended that with that and then put green on the end. I think I need to trim the edge there. Never mind. But yeah, apart from that, the scarf turned out well. And that was single strand. But then you get the double stranded effect when you fold it in half anyway. So that's all right for that. It's just when it's on a head, it really does stretch and it looks holy. So you do need either the double strand or the reverse effect, the reversible effect. Yeah. Um, ribbing on a hat. I, I thought ribbed ribs you know one by one two two by two I thought they made hat stretch but this is my younger son's hat yeah I know there's no hat there is there <laughs> he said oh mum when you make me a bit, um, black hat and make it a bit like slouching and yeah okay I'll put a rib on the end so I had this tube so big and I, I was going to do the the shaping of the crown but I do that at the end I wanted to do the rib and first of all I was going to do a one by one rib with, and I thought no I want to do a two by two rib so to, in order to do that on the 46 needle addy I had to increase two stitches which I did halfway one, one at one end and one halfway and so I got the appropriate needle size and I started to do a two by two rib and when I finished I thought it's it's rigid I thought these stretched no oh, okay so I frogged it back to the the stockinette stitch and I decided I thought okay a typical worsted weight hat what 70 stitches maybe a bit more so I thought let's go with 70 and try that so I increased to 70 stitches and then did the two by two rib I think it was 70 stitches or 68 something like that it, it was even anyway because the last two stitches would have been pearl the first two stitches knit right okay so I did that and it looked okay after I even tried it on myself because I've got a bigger head than my youngest son I've got a 23 inch head he's got a 22 I was a surprise I didn't know that till yesterday I thought that should be okay so before I started shaping the crown I said hey your son try this on and he didn't like it <laughs> I said oh shall I crochet that other hat I was going to crochet for you I think it was a crochet zombie hat. It's the Phoenix Spiral. I'm going to do that for him. He says, yeah, do that instead. So that's that was my younger son's hat. <laughs> Thank goodness for frogging, eh? I had to go to the store before my son went to college because somebody was coming around on Tuesday. Didn't know when they were going to come around. So I went really quickly. And of course, I saw some yarn. But I thought, oh, I want to try it on the Addies. So 
this is what I've got so far. I haven't done the, the fringe or tassels, whatever you want to call it. So it's, it's all variegated. This is King Cole Splash. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love red. And I haven't haven't done the, that yet. That's the point I finished that yesterday. But I did, I did the, um, the crochet bind off, which is equivalent to th three needle bind off. I can't even remember what the three needle bind off is. I'll have to YouTube it. I could probably do it, but no. Anyway, at the moment on the Big Addy is the other yarn ball of this, because I've got, I made sure to get two to do a tube hat. So I haven't double stranded it because it's variegated and I don't know how they're going to lay because the colour changes, I don't know how they're going to, they, they might not synchronise, it might look odd. So I decided to do just like an extra long hat and double the amount or maybe a bit more and then feed it in, you know, you know, the reversible hat basically, but it's not going to be reverse, it's the same both sides. So that's on, that's on the Addy at the moment. And I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think two people replied to my last post saying they didn't have a, um, a CD, so I think I'm going to have to do a draw. Yeah, I'll do a draw. So if you let me know the situation where you still got a CD, if you still like one, I can do a draw, can't I? And I can send you one of you it. So, yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah. That is definitely it. Yeah, I've been busy doing that, and I'm going to continue working. Oh, yeah, and I couldn't go to my knitting group today because we're waiting for somebody to come round. How dare they? But then again, it's given me an opportunity to um, record this video finally, finally. So, yes. So, anyway, I love you and leave you, and I'll get back to you next week with hopefully a few more made items. Um, take good care, everyone. Bye bye.